Here are five reasons as to why proprioception is often reduced in HSD and EDS, so hypermobile spectrum disorders or Ehlers Danlos syndrome. Number one, loose connective tissue um, equals joint instability. So we know in HSD and EDS, the connective tissue, which is what supports and stabilizes the joints, is more lax and stretchy than usual. Um, this makes joints more mobile and less stable, um, which can confuse the body's ability to sense joint position accurately. So number two, um, disrupted feedback from the mechanoreceptors. The body uses sensors in the muscles, tendons, and joint capsules. Um, these are called mechanoreceptors uh, to tell where a limb is in space. If the joint is unstable or moving excessively, those sensors get less reliable input or become desensitized over time. Number three, we have frequent subluxations and micro traumas to a lot of the joints or some of the joints, depending on the person. So repeated joint slips or instability can overload or injure the soft tissues, uh, interfering with normal sensory feedback and making proprioception even less accurate, especially over time and especially in uh, reoccurring areas. Number four, we have delayed muscle activation. If your body isn't confident where a joint is in space, it often delays or poorly coordinates muscle responses, making balance or control harder. This can be especially noticeable in dynamic tasks like walking, sports or posture, which is why we can often walk into things. Um, and then thing number five, things like fatigue and dysautonomia, which are quite common comorbid uh, conditions connected to HSD and EDS, uh, which further impair concentration and sensory motor processing and all of those kind of factors as well. So this is why we can often feel clumsy or uncoordinated or we struggle with balance or stability, regularly knocking or bumping into things which leave us with those nice bruises um, or finding it difficult to know what is hyperextended or overextended because uh, that's kind of your, your natural presence. So knowing the difference between safe range of motion and overextension can be really important as well. So I hope this clears up the question behind um, why proprioception is such a challenge in HSD and EDS. But if you have any further questions, comment them below.